when trying to diagnose ignition problems on a vehicle, there's a couple different ways we can test it with a scope. We're going to talk about a coil primary voltage test right now. So I have the vehicle hooked up already. I have the number one lead attached to the ground side of the coil. And all we got to do is just fire it up. I got it on a 100 volt scale and a 20 millisecond time base. So let's see what we get when we turn it on. I'll just come over here and pause it real quick and we'll shut off the vehicle. All right, so that looks like a good pattern we got here. So let me move my cursors here so we can make some measurements and we'll talk about what we're looking at. All right, so where about cursor one is, that should be alternator voltage, right? Line voltage. So we're looking at, ooh, about 15 volts here. So we're a little higher than average, but still within, still within spec. Uh, right here, where it makes the sharp dive down, that's when the ECM grounds the coil to turn it on and start charging the coil. Over here is where it releases, so that's the first voltage to jump the gap and start firing the spark plug. Now, on these multi-strike ignition vehicles like this one is, these first two here, that's going to be controlled by the PCM, the, the duration of the spark. So if you want to make a measurement to see how it is working, Spark-wise, we'll take a measurement here, the last line. So if I can get that in there, there we go. So we're going to have 1.17 milliseconds. So somewhere in the range of about one millisecond, that's a pretty good spark line. So this is a nice, easy test that you can do. Only takes one channel on the scope. Just back probe the coil. Makes it pretty easy to test. <laughs>